All right, you guys. If we're filming from the side of the road, where do you think we are? We're so excited to be back at Universal Orlando. Happy Tuesday, everybody. We are back in Orlando, back in the saddle again. Yeah. And we're headed to Universal Orlando, Florida. We're so excited, you guys. We have not been in one million years. And so we're finally back to show you what's new at Universal this week. And what we, do we miss? We get to ride the Hulk. Yeah, I can't wait to ride the Hulk. We can't film on the Hulk, unfortunately, but we're gonna give you all of our thoughts. Here's a quick look at Sapphire Falls, which is now open, but they haven't finished doing any of the construction on the convention center portion of it. So there still is construction going on. If you look over here, all of these cranes, this is for the Cabana Bay addition that they're, they're adding on a whole nother tower, but it's also for Volcano Bay, which is the water park. Oh, you, you can sort of see the- right here. There's no more trees here. Oh, what do they do with the trees? Oh, look, oh, there it is. Oh yeah. That's the front entrance right there that you see that half dome thing though. So there was just a super quick look at some of the construction outside of the park as you drive into the park. Um, I know, I don't know, we kind of show you that every time, but just kind of shows you that they are constantly adding new things and they're constantly building here at Universal, which is awesome, because new stuff is awesome, right? Yes. Yeah. When we come into Universal Orlando, security is still at a very high point. They've even set up stanchions back here to separate out the line. Lots of random barricades out and about. I'm sure they're, I think they're probably doing some sort of like concrete repair over here. And this is actually a first. They're showing live streams from the Olympics on the huge screen at NBC Grill Brew and they've actually set up bleachers and stuff that you can sit and watch the Olympics here in CityWalk. And then there's a little stand outside here that you can buy Team USA gear to support USA in the Olympics. This is the first time they've ever showed any live sporting event on this screen, which is amazing. Yeah, Team USA. This one's kind of awesome, actually. Oh, you covered it up. Oh, this is, yeah, that one's cool, too. It's like a belly shirt. Like, yeah. Do you remember when Arnold wore that, like, belly shirt? Oh, That's yeah. This reminds me of. Arnold? Yeah, I gotta like wear this and go on Terminator like now. Oh yeah. Now? I really like this shirt right here, it's cool. Oh, I like this one. This just reminds me of um, Ralph Lauren. Oh one. yeah, let's see. Oh, these are nice. You could get like a, like a polo. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, I like this guy. Oh yeah, that's nice. 35 bucks. I like this plain old NBC shirt. But this, I really like this shirt, it's cool. And it looks like they've got a bar set up outside for when you're watching the Olympics. You can have yourself a drink. And then I think, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, there is a cash register up there. So I think you can order a drink or some food, like some small plates, and sit on the bleachers and watch the Olympics. There it is, it says, order from the specially created bleacher menu, full menu available inside. That's really cool. I wonder when it starts, because there's not anybody up there right now. And now we're walking towards Islands of Adventure, and you can see, peeking up over the horizon here, is two some chocolate factory smokestacks. Oh, I can't wait to get close to this and thing. Smoking. Yeah, they're smoking. They're smoking. Ooh, two some, you look awesome. It is so close to opening right now. Look at this, there's so much kinetics going on and all this other stuff. And the sign is in place and the smokestacks, you can't really tell right now, but they are smoking because there's clouds behind them. Hopefully later the blue skies will come back out and we'll be able to see it. But let me zoom in on some of the kinetics. Look at those things going. Look at these gears turning. Look, that person's going inside. Look at these spinny things going. There's the smoke coming out. I like all the swirly, like, landscaping. It's cool. Good news, there are team members, like, wait staff inside testing out the menu. I can see through the window somebody eating or drinking a, uh, a milkshake. Ooh, so they serve milkshakes. It's been confirmed. Well, we knew that already. Oh. <laughs> well, there's an outside bar right there. Good times. Is this, like, Scooby-Doo's answer to Tsum Tsum's is Cube Cubes or something like that? There's some stilt walkers out here in Port of Entry. All right. Now, because it is officially open, our first stop is at the Hulk. Yes, I can't wait. Oh, it looks so good. Sounds good with people yelling on it and everything. Oh my gosh, people go through a metal detector and there's like already stuff lost up here. Like a set of keys, a pair of glasses right there. So like five pairs of sunglasses. That's crazy. You're supposed to put your stuff in the lockers. They're free lockers. Because people lose stuff all the time, we have to put all of our stuff in lockers. So we are gonna do that right now and go and ride the new Hulk. And then we'll give you guys our impressions when we come back out. Oh dang, it's been so long since we've been here. Look at the detail on the outside of the launch tube. Here we 
here we go. We're gonna get a locker right now. So to rent a locker, scan our bar, scan our ticket down below. Locker number nine, and it just popped open. So yeah. we just put all of our stuff in there and then close it and then use our ticket to open it back up again. And there's a green light on each locker station telling you if there are lockers available. Check out this awesome Hulk shirt. It tells you everything that you need to know about the Hulk roller coaster. It reminds me of the shirts that we saw at King's Island. If you pass out easily, just know that there are four G's on this roller coaster. What's the most G's on a roller coaster? That's a good question. Now, we have officially ridden the new Hulk roller coaster, and we wanted to give you guys our impressions. It was awesome. It was, it was the exact same. Nothing changed about the actual track itself. There's some cool new stuff in the launch tunnel. Yeah. I really liked it. It was just like new lighting, and then they had a new soundtrack, which was done by Patrick Stump of Fall Out Boy. And it was pretty cool. Yeah. Tim did mention that it wasn't very loud. It could have been louder. It really could have been louder. The ride itself was very quiet, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you don't hear this on the ride. Did you hear that roar when they came out of the tunnel? You don't hear that at all when you're launching. So I, I missed that. Right. But. Uh, it was a lot smoother. You don't shake around as much. Back before this closed down and got torn down and rebuilt, we used to shake around a lot you in actually, the harness. Like, it would box your ears. Like I remember coming off that ride and my ear was bleeding. Like my, my earring yeah. started to bleed. So it used to be like a more violent ride. Yeah. But it's still, it's not the smoothest roller coaster ever. It's no. still, it's still jerky. It's yeah. meant to be. Yeah, because it's like a good like hard hard rock and roller coaster. I was gonna, I thought you were gonna say hardy. Yeah, That's good it's hardy like roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, the uh, breakdown in the music after the break run, perfect. It was a lot better. Like yeah. after the break run, it's smoother, not as intense. There's a lot more going on, like in the music at least, and I like that part a lot. I, I like that more cool. than the first half. Yeah. The first half was fun to ride not as fun to listen to. It feels different, but you like have these memories of it being the same. Yeah. Ah, that part's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's go see what else is new here at Universal Studios Florida. Yeah. Islands of Adventure. Since we're here in Islands of Adventure, we figured we would stop by Kong and see what the wait looks like. Maybe we can ride it if it's not too long of a wait. However, I think it's going to be. It's a 90 minute wait, so I think we're gonna skip this one. Oh, that's, that's a bit long for us. Green Goblin's like running throughout the streets, just the taking pictures with everyone. He's taking a baby. <laughs> He's goblining a baby. That baby was so happy to see you. <laughs> we headed back over to Hulk because we realized we didn't show you guys a close up of the new statue now that we can see it all exposed. Look at them toes. off back at Chowfish so that we can have some burgers and some sushi because Jen wanted sushi. Yeah. I'm gonna get, I think, this is a new burger, the K-Town burger. It's like a kimchi burger. I might get this poison burger, which is I think another new burger with some cooked short ribs on it and candied bacon. Mm -hmm. Or the Borson burger now has bacon on it, which it didn't before. This was always so good for me. Like I really like the Borson burger, but now that it has bacon, I feel like I will really, really like it. I don't know. I want to try something different, so I think I'm gonna go with the hoisin burger. I got to show you guys we got fried pickles because they're delicious here. Oh yeah. Much better than sci-fi dining. They do the pickles better at Universal. There's my burger. Holy cow, that looks pretty darn good. And those are my sweet potato fries. And then there's Jen's boss roll. It looks I, pretty boss. I always get the same thing. It's so good. I figured probably be a pretty good time to check and see if there are any Pokemons around here. Oh look! Yay, Pokemons! I can oh, get this coughing. What's that one? It's a coughing. Oh. Yeah. I like how he's so happy, but he also has like the death symbol on him. Right? Oh, I'm not like looking at the screen. I'm sorry. Let's see. Hurt. Oh, you got him. Let's see. We got to catch them all. Let's see if he gets out. He probably will. I didn't even see what his CP was. Oh, he got out. Oh, dang. Oh, no. Let's give him, let's give him some raspberries. What does that do? Eat the raspberry. What does it do? It makes him easier to catch, apparently. Oh. Oh, no. He like blocked it. Stop doing that. Sorry. I got excited. Ah! So what's in this burger? This is a burger, poison cooked short rib, candied bacon, pickled red onion, and a bed of English cucumbers. Ooh, it looks weird. Oh, I bet you it's gonna be so good. And there's bacon? Yeah, candied, candied bacon? bacon. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, 
was so juicy. Hmm. You don't Not like the it? best burger that I've had here. <laughs> it's not terrible. So we just ate a cowfish, which I don't know if you guys remember this, but we did, what did we do? We it, was, about... it was in our Universal Top 3 video that we did, and we said that we like cowfish, but that their service was not great. And I have to tell you that I am like literally eating my words right now. The service was really fast. The service was wonderful. Um, our server was Adam. He was so super nice. He did a fantastic job. Not that the other uh, servers were not nice, but he was just like super nice. Yeah. And the food literally came out within, I would say maybe 15 minutes. We ordered fried pickles and we couldn't finish them because our food came out. Yeah, it was great that the service improved. So I think now we would say that Cowfish is probably in our top Top, top four. Yeah. I don't know what the other three are, but it's in the top four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So definitely go to Cowfish and maybe don't listen to us about the service because it, it really has improved. Yeah, I, as with any restaurant, I say go have your own experience. Like if oh, the yeah. menu looks good, yeah. try it. I yeah. bet you it is good. Don't take our word for it. Like, yeah. But yeah, we're just... It's in a book. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that, we're going to end the video here and uh, look forward tomorrow to more universal goodness. Yeah. And we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.